So now during an earthquake, when an earthquake is actually happening, what should you do? So the main thing is, is often you might hear a rumbling first. You might hear that rumbling and you kind of go, what is that? And then you start to hear things crashing and you start to feel the shaking. Wherever you are, it's more important that you you know ahead of time, you plan saying, all right, if I'm here, here's where I need to go to stay safe. You want to probably, if you can, you want to go underneath something very sturdy, a sturdy table, something that is not going to be moving around, hopefully. But no matter what, you want to hold on to the table leg. You want to make sure you're holding on to the leg so that even if it's moving around, that you are holding it steady. Your other option is to go into a doorway because as buildings are built, the doorway is the most reinforced place. Like that's how, that's the safest place. You do want to be careful of doors opening and closing and slamming, but like something in a hallway where there's just an open doorway with no door, that's going to be one of the safer structural places in the house. So you're either going toward a doorway, you're going underneath something heavy, or sometimes even going right next to something heavy, like right next to your bed. Some people say that's safer because if something falls in your bed, it's going to hit your bed before you. So you want to kind of crouch down next to your bed. But so this is something though to talk, go walk through your house, talk to your parents and discuss where, what are the dangers and where are the safest places going to be. It's either underneath something, next to something, or in a doorway, in a structure. Do you want to just go running outside? Generally not, because often then you're running through doors, you might be having to run further and putting yourself in more harm. So guess what? If you are outside, actually that's great because there's less things to fall on you. You might want to just kind of crouch down so you don't fall over, but you are, you are generally safer outside. So if you're near a door, you can get outside. That's, a, that's okay, but don't run through your entire house as everything's crashing to try to get outside. That's not a safe activity. It's better to stay put. Stay safe, and then once that shaking stops, then you work your way outside to your evacuation place. Um, when you're holding on to something, make sure the most important part of your body is your head and your neck. So make sure you're covering your head and your neck and you're holding on. That's what we should be doing during every single disaster drill we do at school. You're covering your head and neck, and then we're holding on. Um, so that's important while an earthquake's happening to make sure that you are staying safe.